G'day everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple first person interaction system in Unity that you can use in your own games. Let's dive right in. Now before we start writing any code, we're going to make a UI canvas and add a text element. This will be where our interaction message pops up so you can position it where you like. Now we can hop into our code. So first we're going to make an interface called iInteractable and we're going to give it two properties. A public string called interact message and a public method called interact. The interact message is going to be the message that appears on the screen for the player, and the interact method is what we're going to call to start our interaction. Next we need a way of detecting these interactables, so we're going to make a second class called interaction controller. We're going to make three serialized fields, a camera called player camera, some text called interaction text, and a float called interaction distance. We'll also make a private eye interactable called current targeted interactable. For this class, we're only going to need our update method and inside we're going to need to make three methods update current interactable update interaction text and check for interaction input first is update current interactable we're going to create a variable called ray and set it to player camera dot viewport point to ray and in brackets new vector 2 0 0.5 0 0.5 our viewport is what a given camera can see from 0 to 1 so 0 0.5 0 0.5 means we want to create a line shooting out from the middle of our screen then we're going to add physics.raycast, open bracket, ray, comma, out var hit, comma, interaction distance, and close brackets. This gets the ray we just made, shortens it to be a specified length, in our case 5, and then store that information of the first object our ray hits. Next we set our current targeted interactable equal to hit.collider, question mark, dot get component i interactable. What the question mark does is if there is no collider, meaning our raycast didn't hit anything, then set the value to null. But if the ray did hit something, then try and get the interactable component on the object. Next is update interaction text. If current targeted interactable equals null, then set interaction text dot text equal to string dot empty and return. After that, we add interaction text equals current targeted interactable dot interact message. So if we're not looking at an interactable, clear the text. Otherwise, display the message for the given object. Lastly, we have check for interaction input. We're going to write if keyboard.current.ekey.wasPressThisFrame and current targeted interactable does not equal null, then current targeted interactable dot interact. It's important to note that I'm using Unity's new input system, but if you're using the older version, you'll write input.getKeyDown, keycode E, but these will do the exact same thing. Now all this does is it checks if we've pressed the E key, and if we're looking at an interactable object, then we interact with it. And that's the core of the system done. Let's hop back into Unity and add our interaction controller to our player, drag in our camera, and our UI text. Now I'll show you how you can set up an interactable item. Any interactable object needs two things, a collider and a script with the I interactable interface. So here's a simple button I whipped up, Let's add a box collider and size it to fit. And then let's open up this spawn button script I created earlier. This button has a serialized game object called spawn prefab and a method called spawn, which instantiates our prefab with a random size and color. To make it interactable, next to mono behavior, we add our I interactable. By adding our interface, it means that our class must have the fields we specified earlier. Our class is currently red because we're missing those values. So let's press Alt Enter and add in our missing fields. We're going to add a serialized string called object interact message and have our interact message return our new variable. And in our interact method, we'll simply call our spawn method. Let's hop back into Unity and write our interaction message on our button and then press play. So we can see our button and when we get within our interaction distance, our message appears on the screen. And if we press the E key, we'll interact with the button which spawns a ball. Perfect! And that's our core system done. You can take this and add any objects you want, like doors or items or weapons, and scale it up to any size project you'll be working on. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to do my best to answer them. That's everything for this video, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers everyone!